I'm Janos Wilder from the Carriage House. So excited for this partnership with Tucson Medical Center. We're really looking forward to bringing you some healthy recipes, some cooking tips. Here's to healthy living, healthy eating, and some fun cooking. Are you ready to make some spicy black bean dip? You got some friends coming over? watching a sporting event, you just need that hors d'oeuvre, that special hors d'oeuvre. This is the one for you. So, it's so easy. You don't really have to do anything, get your ingredients ready to go, and this food processor does all the work so you don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna start with black beans. You can cook your black beans. For this recipe, you can buy your black beans canned, but if you do, just make sure you rinse them several times. Even if you make your black beans, rinse them several times. Put them in your food processor. Some roasted poblano chilies. I want, I want some spice in this. Not a lot of spice, but a little spice. So we've got some chipotles in here. Uh, excuse me, these were the jalapenos. We've got the jalapenos in here. A little bit of chipotle. Chipotle is the smoked jalapeno. It's got phenomenal flavor, really different by smoking it. It really changes it. So where do you get those, right? get them in the can. They got them in pretty much every grocery store in Tucson. Get your chipotles. Now put in your food processor and let her go. So whenever you use a food processor, you always want to Take your spatula and just keep on feeding it down a little bit because make sure you get all the stuff in there so that it purees. Now we're going to put some garlic in there, our tomato paste. So you're getting the idea you've got some really rounded flavors here with the black beans, a really great base note. You've got the chilies with a little spice. You've got your sweetness from your, from your tomato paste. A little more hot from the chipotles. We're gonna work that down again. With the motor running, we're going to add our olive oil and vinegar. These are really important elements to it. The olive oil gives it a nice flavor, but it gives it a really velvety texture. And the vinegar just adds a little bit more acid, so it really makes it all come alive. Work that down one more time, scrape everything down from the sides. Boy, does that smell good. Okay, this is really nice and velvety now. It's really smooth. Well, let's make sure it tastes pretty good, huh? Nope. It's a little salt, a little pepper. Bring out all those other flavors. I don't put a lot of salt in it, but salt brings things alive. And you, you know, a lot of us are watching our salt, our salt intake, intake, super important to do, but you can put a little bit in. This recipe is super healthy, just with the salt in it, everything, and it's a great recipe for healthiness. Oh, 
All right, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna take this. See how smooth that is? That's just a beautiful consistency. Now we've got some great vegetables here. I've got radishes and carrots and celery and cauliflower. Any great fresh vegetables that you have around. Fresh and raw vegetables, that's what you're using. You've got your healthy vegetables, your wonderful spicy black bean dip. I'm Janos Wilder. Here's to healthy living, healthy eating, and fun cooking.